Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lavinia Lizette and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this beautiful reverse ombre color. I think this is so pretty. This look was inspired by Rosh Posh. I think she slayed this look and I wanted to do something similar. I'm having a birthday dinner tonight. I wanted to try something new, something spunky. You know, your girl's a year older and I just wanted to try something a little new and I love how this turned out. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this beautiful color, Stay tuned. All right, and I'm starting with Adore Semi Permanent Hair Color in Black Velvet. I'm just going to apply this into a container like so and add some hot water. I only use one bottle. I did buy two, but I only ended up using one. And now I'm just going to mix the water and the hair color together. So this is the Ash Blonde unit that I'm going to be coloring today. I colored this about a year ago. I will link the video down below of how I achieved this ash blonde color. So all I'm going to do now is dip my ends into the water, well the water and the color. And what I did was I made sections in the wig so I only did a section by section. And what I did not like about this is as you see the black is not like black black, it's kind of like a gray type black. So I was thinking maybe I should have poured both bottles of hair color into the water. But what I decided to do was just go ahead and continue doing the water method. And then later on, I just go back over the ends with some of the actual hair color. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. I just poured some of the semi-permanent hair color into the bowl. And I began just working my way up to the ends and just covering over the black that I previously applied. And as you see now, the black is actually like black black. And then what I did is I also used some saran wrap to section off the hair so the hair did not bleed onto the areas that I did not want black. And I did the same process until I completed all of the ends of the hair. And I just kept going in between with the saran wrap. So now the color's been rinsed out, I'm just going through and blow drying the hair. And now I'm gonna set my part, which I just sprayed some water and conditioner on the part and dried it in the direction I wanted the part. And then I went over it with my hot comb. So right now I'm adding some heat protectant to the hair and I'm going to do some pin curls. If you guys are interested in seeing how I do my pin curls, I will leave a full tutorial down below on how I do my pin curls. I did record a previous video of me doing pin curls and I quite like these because the curls last such a long time. They start out tight, the longer you wear them they become looser. I really like it. See, aren't the curls just so pretty? Yep, I love doing pink curls. So now I'm gonna apply my wig. I have already applied some got to be glued and I'm just gonna press my lace right into that glue all around my hairline. I'm also adding a little bit of freeze spray for them areas that just don't wanna stick. And this just kinda helps it all just blend into place. And the wig is secure. Do y'all see these curls? Do you see why I say I love pin curls? Yes, honey. So right now I'm just playing around with the hair to see if I really like this color. And just trying to get my curls just to lay the way that I want them to lay. But I actually like how this turned out. I love the color, the combination. It looks really pretty. I usually never use black in my hair, but I actually like how this looks. All right guys, and this is the finished look. It's really simple. It's my first time ever trying the watercolor method. And 
It did speed up the process a little bit, but I had to go back in with the black on the ends just to make it more black so it didn't look gray or it, the, the color just was more pigmented when I applied the color directly to the hair. This was quick and easy. I do love how this turned out. If you're interested in seeing a full tutorial on how I achieved the ash blonde on top, I'll link the video down below. And if you're also wanting to see how I did these pin curls, I'll also link another video down below showing you how I did my pin curls. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like how this turned out. I am going out tonight and celebrating my birthday with family and friends. I'll show you guys my outfit for the night. If you're interested in this hair type, this is the Platinum Blonde from Posh Life Hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come follow me on Instagram at I am Lavinia Lizette and also follow my hair page at Posh Life Hair. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go out now and celebrate my birthday. Bye.